Hello and a warm welcome to another workshop about what is new in the Mobotics Hub plugin of 2023 in June. Here we have integrated two new features. One of them is integrate from the Mobotics Sync the dashboards in the layout of the desk client. That's what you can see here directly on the screen. There we have prepared already a an, an layout for that. And the second part is how to integrate Mobotics cloud cameras in the desk client um, layout. That it will be shown later on in that workshop. But let us concentrate first on the Mobotics Sync dashboard capability. Here you see a layout where we have added a dashboard in the list form of the detected license plate from the Mobotics Sync. We have also here some graphical shards from the um, Mobotic Sync dashboard and another list form of license plates plus uh, two cameras. If we, for example, doing now an, 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 an double click of one of the list elements here and then we switching automatically to maximize that few item. And then you can see we have here a list of all detected cameras in a bigger view for a deeper analyzing. If we make another double click, then we minimize that view item to the normal uh, size. If we do that, for example, of the graphical chart, there we have also the details of the graphical chart. And in addition, we can also using the mouse to zoom in in that graphical timeline to see more details of the detected values to make an inspection of that. If we say so with inspection, therefore the user can select on the top title of the chart, which is in this case license plate detection by camera, then it's open the context dialog and there is an option to say inspect the data and if we click on that then we get further more list information about that data yeah, for a deeper analyzing all that functionality what Mobotics Sync delivers also available here in that uh, view. And very important, the user can download all that uh, recorded statistical data, detected number plates, cars, and so on as a comma separated value file. And this is then uh, the best base for any further um, working with the data um, via Microsoft Excel. If we make another double click on it, then we shrink again to minimize the, um, the view and get it back to the normal layout. And another combination um, between the detected number plates and the playback is when you click now on one of the items in that uh, uh, license plate list, then immediately the desk line switching to the playback mode and switching the playback of the right upper camera which it's uh, combined with that number plate list on the left-hand side, switch automatically to that specific moment. As you can see here on the right upper side, there's a date and time that fits to the date and time of the list line. And if you press again, you see uh, the car on the monitor on the right upper camera change to white car. Now it's clicked again. Then we have that black uh, Volkswagen Phaeton on the monitor. So you see that it's an additional navigation tool for the operator to selecting to the specific moment of the recording. Of course, we have by default uh, as well the standard playback controls like the slider control, uh, the playback speed and so on, which it's still linked to the playback of that camera. So it's a, a further and additional navigation uh, jumping list, so to say, uh, which allows you to get faster to the specific recordings. If we leave now the Mobotic Sync and switching to the possibility to adding cloud cameras to the desk client layout, we have also prepared here a layout and the user would say, yes, that's four cameras in my normal desk client layout. Um, what is special? The other special thing is these are cameras from Mobotic Cloud sub account and not uh, cameras which are connected locally to the Mobotic Sub. So if we do also there a double click of a um, live stream, then we also maximize the content uh, of the camera and with another double click we minimize uh, the view. And if we do for example switching from live to playback then you see immediately oh that it's um, the playback layout from the cloud 
because we have using the same elements which are available in the Mobotics cloud to have that navigation bar and also you see now we navigate in the right upper thermal camera but the other three cameras are uh, be synchronized in the playback that means if you search in the right upper camera you see immediately what is on the other three cameras and you can make a better deeper analyzing and even if you get here for jumping to a specific moment and if you uh, play back the high resolution recorded video from the cloud it will be regressed from the cloud and it will also be played in there there's of course you have all the standard functionality what is available in the cloud it's the same as here but now you see now it's playing back that specific moment where a colleague it's crossing the camera scene and the other cameras showing as well uh, the synchronous playback of that um, the full functionality of the buttons here as it is is uh, uh, is provided in the web interface it has the same functionality as well here in the desk client and of course by double clicking also in the playback view you can maximize uh, the playback view to get a, a better view for a deeper and a faster analyzing of the scenario of the event what you are watching right now so i hope this has provided you a better overview what an operator can do now with the two new functionalities and of course for the administrator we will provide further videos which explains how to set up the desk client how to set up the management client and how to creating uh, mobotic sync dashboards which you can then integrate in the layout of the desk client so to say thanks for your time and have a lot of fun with the new functionalities goodbye